All right, hey guys, welcome to the channel. Tony Ferrara here, Vegas Hyper Adventures. Um, hey, I just wanted to uh, uh, take my first ride here. Um, I upgraded my cassette, my rear cassette, to a 11 to 34 tooth uh, Mega Drive. So I'm gonna test this thing out uh, for some climbing ability. After buying the mid drives, um, this is basically the setup that's on the mid drives. And it was a huge difference in climbing and we do a lot of climbing out here in vegas so i just wanted to upgrade it and see what happened so i went to rei they took a look at it ordered the part for me and then installed it uh, for a whopping i think it was like 50 bucks something like that it was like 12 dollars for the installation 20 something bucks for the for the uh, uh for the cassette and then uh, I bought something else as well. So my total bill is like $47 plus tax. I mean, REI is the shit. Um, so if you guys have REIs locally, look them up, REI.com. Put in mountain bike, whatever you're searching, you can order online, you can pick up in the store. They do have fabulous bike shop. Um, I highly recommend. So anyhow, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, check this out right now. I'm in low power, uh, first gear, and we're gonna climb this which is kind of easy at the beginning and then it's going to get a little steep. We're going to try to stay in low power and see what happens. Now, when I first got the bike, before I busted the, before I broke that rear hub, um, I had always stayed in low power. Then when I got the new hub, what happened was it came with the six speed instead of a seven speed. So I lost that top gear so I was always going into uh, my lowest gear, which in reality wasn't very low. So I always had to get into second and high power to climb anything. So now we're gonna we're gonna see. I mean, right now, man, this is for being in low power. This is sweet. takes a second to get used to the hardtail again it's been a little bit i've been riding those mid drives a lot um just to break them in they're broken now so i'm gonna keep those for my tours and maybe ride them once every so often but still in low power climbing this steep part pretty good Yeah, this is sick. What a difference. Yeah, a huge difference. Again, low power and just uh, gradually getting up this bad boy. It's a trip being on the hardtail again. <laughs> this will be tough. I'm gonna try to stay in low power. No problem. This thing's sick. Oh yeah. Big difference, guys. Super warm today too. Yeah, this is one of my rides right here. Bears best. I created a pretty cool loop that starts with this trail and then goes around and comes back and finishes with this trail. This is a nice, it's not a, not a difficult trail at all. 
just a little climbing some chunky spots but again if you have to get off the bike and walk you just get off the bike and walk but right now this thing climbs way better way better big difference Very cool. Last time I was out here, it was right after a rain and part of the trail at the end where I loop into another trail, I couldn't find it. <laughs> it was washed out. The other thing I like about the hardtail is it doesn't pedal strike as much as the uh, The mid drive. Somebody said to get some, the uh, cranks are too long. That getting smaller ones. Let's see if we can get a view for you guys. It's a little foggy today, but just building away, man. Bears best golf course, Las Vegas Strip, building away. You can barely see the strip, it's so kind of humid and foggy today. But we'll get the ride in and test this bike out. So yeah, again, I went to REI, talked to them, brought the bike in, told them what I was trying to do. They've already worked on the bike before, so they were familiar with it. Uh, he said, yeah, no problem. He can get one. And that he had to order it online. It may take a few days. It took like three days, four days to get the part in. I just left the bike with them. I was in no hurry. Um, and uh, they called me yesterday to come pick it up. I picked it up and woke up this morning excited to take its first run. And it seems pretty solid. Everything's still pretty tight. Brakes are working seriously good. Yeah, I'm using the original battery, trying to see now that I'm not having to go into second and third power, how long this battery will last now. This weekend, coming up, my wife and I are heading to uh, Bryce Canyon. We're gonna ride, uh, we're gonna ride Bryce Canyon, shared, multi-shared loop. We're staying at Ruby's Inn, which is a really cool little place. And then uh, Saturday, we're leaving tomorrow, Friday morning. <clears throat> and then Saturday, we're gonna ride Thunder Mountain, which is a, a really cool trail that we're just gonna take our time because that's gonna be a, a tough trail for her. But uh, we'll just walk on certain places, but the views. So hopefully I can get some pictures and some video of that but I'm sure I'll have something for you guys coming out. That's this weekend. So to keep a lookout for that, Bryce Canyon. It's, it's calling for some uh, thunder showers in the afternoon. So we may just have to get up early and bundle up because it's a little cold out there in the forties and stuff, which is okay for me. Um, and get our rides in in the morning and then just have fun in the afternoon and the evening but other than that it should be a fun trip looking forward to it september we have uh we've booked flagstaff and sedona so we're gonna ride a trail out in flagstaff and then sedona doesn't allow e-bikes so um we may just go and hike around a little bit Somebody said just ride them, there's no police, but I respect the land. If they say no e-bikes, it means no e-bikes. That's just me. Oh, that's sweet right there. Yeah, this bike's prime.
Yeah, it is. This bike's ready to go. I'll tell you what, I'll ride this bike all day. I want to do three mile smile on this puppy. <laughs> now that I did it on the, uh, the mid drive, I want to do it on this now. Man, this gear's sweet. I mean, you just, it's just like the mid drive now. You just pedal up it. Got my new uh, Samsung watch, my new Samsung 5. I, I pre-ordered it. It just came today, my daughter texted me. My wife got the flip phone and we did a bundle and I got the watch. So that's gonna be good for me because I can then monitor my heart rate throughout my whole ride without having to stop and do it. But I've been, uh, I've been riding so long now that with my heart and stuff, I know when something's wrong or if something's not wrong, you know? Uh, I could ride for days, my heart rate doesn't get up high. I breathe heavy only because I breathe out my mouth. Allergies are bad out here. So I have to breathe out my, my mouth because my nose is so stuffed up. And then every so often I catch a bug. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the allergies and the humidity right now is disgusting. I mean, I had to start a little later than normal because I rode out all the way to the, to the farther trail and I forgot the damn keys to the battery. So I'm like, well, shit, I don't want to just ride without the battery. I want to test this puppy. So I, uh, I just loaded everything back up and went back home and, you know, luckily it's not super far. <clears throat> And I just grabbed the keys and I came to Bear's Best, which is closer to my home, five minutes or so, so. So yeah, it's a little warm right now. I would have liked to get an earlier start, but it's the way it goes. You just deal. This is sweet though. <clears throat> yeah, look at that. I'm just climbing right up this puppy. Here's a strip view again. Ooh. Thunk. There's that beautiful strip all smogged in. <laughs> Looking like LA now. Las Vegas, California. We're not Las Vegas, Nevada anymore. Sorry, folks. Hate to break it to you, but they're moving in and soon they'll be taking over. Just so you know. Yeah, I get it. That's sick. Yeah, this bike is, I feel so much more comfortable on this bike. For some reason, I just, I just can't, I don't know what to tell you. Just that mid-drive, I'm, you know, I've never ridden a full suspension bike before. I've always been BMX or hardtails. And to get on that thing was, was difficult. This thing is a beast. I mean, even when you make a mistake, this thing will still belly out. I'm telling you, the mid-drive, let me see. The mid-drive, I crashed three times. Two times were pretty, pretty bad. I mean, they weren't like, you know, oh my God, I'm gonna die crashes or anything like that, but the last one was pretty scary. I put that one up on my YouTube channel. That one, I went down pretty good. I jammed the hell out of my finger. Might've broke a bone or cracked a bone in my middle finger, but, I just, it healed, it's fine. <laughs> I popped it back into place right there on the trail. It was dislocated, no doubt. My first one, I went down, 
you know, blew my knee pad up. Thank God for my knee pad, I swear. You should never, and this is a PSA. <laughs> you ride with me in Vegas Hyper Adventures, you will wear a helmet and you will wear knee pads and gloves. One of the things I hate to see is videos of boyfriend and girlfriend or husband and wife riding and the husband's all, you know, geared up, especially with gloves and the wife's got nothing. No gloves, no nothing. If she crashes, the first thing you put down is your hands. Sorry, but hate to be a Debbie Downer, <clears throat> but it's so worth the protection to have just in case. So that's my uh, PSA for the day. <laughs> Pat up, boys. I should have hit that. I should have hit that little jump today. This is awesome, though. We're almost to the uh, to the end of this one, and then I may just do the loop now that the phone came, and I know the phone came. It's not too bad. I'll just grab some water down here, and I'll continue on. But yeah, so there you go. Uh, switched out that cassette, that rear cassette, for a better climbing ratio for me. Went with a 11 to 34 sprocket on the back cassette. Uh, had it installed and purchased at REI here in Las Vegas. They have been phenomenal for me. They work on all my bikes. I can only do so much. So I do its daily routine. If I ride it, I wash it, lube it, inspect it make sure everything's tight, put it away. Every so often, maybe once every, depending on how much it's ridden, but every couple months at least, or every quarter, I would say the most, I take it into them. It's like $72, I believe, as a member, and you get a full tune-up and they do everything. Plus, if you want, they fix, if you become a member of their club, and it's not that, my thing was like 20 bucks, and you get all kinds of stuff. You get pricing, you get, every time you buy something, they give you points, and then at the end of the year or the beginning of the year, they send you a card with a bunch of money on it that you can then go in and buy stuff with it. So I'm excited for that, because I got a lot in there <laughs> with my racks and everything else. But, uh, yeah, they, they definitely take care of you. Look at this, y'all. Get up. No problem now. Look at that. Ooh, easily. Just barely pedaling. All right, there it is, man. So there you go, guys. Uh, big difference, big difference. Still got four bars of power, and uh, we're just gonna finish out the loop, and then we'll we'll go from there. Have a great week. Uh, enjoy. Um, watch for the video from our weekend. We'll be leaving Friday, coming back late Sunday. Uh, so watch for the video, Red Canyon and uh, uh, Bryce Canyon. We're gonna we're gonna ride those, uh, so yeah, it should be all very very fun. All right, guys, I'm out. GoPro, stop recording.